Ah, the French Riviera. It doesn't get much better than this. Jeff, I think we're stumbling upon a trend. Yes, indeed. It's the, the emphasis on, on beach clubs seems to be everywhere we turn. Where just a couple of years ago, it was a grill in your swim platform transom was a huge deal. Now, <laughs> now, now it seems like every boat has more and more emphasis on spaces looking at. I've noticed as the trend catches fire that it's getting better and better executed and Blue Game really nailed it with this space. Uh, absolutely, and just a little background on the boat we're on right now, it's the Blue Game BGX70. Blue Game was a company that was founded back in 2004, and while you might not be familiar with that brand, you're certainly familiar with San Lorenzo that acquired Blue Game just last year and started out with a 42 and 62. This is the first new model truly under that umbrella. I'm just so impressed with this beach club, but I'm also impressed with the accommodations as well. I think you're gonna have to twist my arm a little bit, but I think that's our that's our next. Stop. I think we got to get up to see it. Let's do it. All right, you're a slave driver. I, indeed, I am. Look how far those doors open. Yeah, it's a three, three fold door opens almost completely. It's, it really gives you some incredible views. What did I tell you about the space? You know, you, you were so right. It's the, the infinity view aft is, is really special. And another thing I like about the space, we really usually try not to dwell on decor because I can change from boat to boat, but gonna throw out a shout out here. I mean, this, this feels like a nice combination of luxury yet comfortable. It feels like home. Yeah, contemporary design can also feel like a museum. I think you said it's cold exactly. and you don't want to touch anything. Right. Here, this feels like a lounge where you just want to relax. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's interesting, the juxtaposition between the tough, you know, the masculine explorer yacht exterior with really nice living space. Really warm interior and these woods that go throughout, which mm -hmm. we'll see, are pretty beautiful. So. Here you have access to the master suite. Let's nice. take a look. <laughs> nice size space, of course. Yeah, indeed. These woods are shown throughout. It just, again, feels really warm and inviting in here. And very, very secluded as well with this door shut. Right. Yeah. I think this lounge is gonna be a popular option. I haven't seen a master suite quite like this. This massive space here. This could be a stateroom, but why would you do that? I mean, you have this mm. you have this area for lounging and watching TV or reading, and you have this. This goes up electrically, up and down, so right. you can close off the master suite completely. The kids could be in here watching TV while you take a nap or whatever it is. It's just a great use of space on this boat. Well, I think it's, sometimes it's nice, especially because how open that beach club area is, that yeah. you want some privacy, you, you want you know a little mm -hmm. downtime to read in the dark. Yeah. This, this is a place you can yeah, come get out, You have that. to get out of the sun sometimes. Well, I mean, I don't, but <laughs> some of them might want to. Yeah, indeed. Nice size VIP, day head. Nice that you have the two or three cabin option. Yeah. Jeff, let you take the helm. Yeah, bucket seats. Nice carbon fiber touches everywhere, huh? Yeah. One thing I like about this helm is if you're standing, you have the controls here and the joystick as well, but here, you got them here in your right arm as well. It's so nice to have both options like that. I've seen a number of boats where they have a, a joystick in the helm before and yeah. kind of in the helm seat, but you miss having the option forward. Having both, it might seem like an excess, but not no, cruise for a long not time. Not once you're cruising. I mean, sometimes you feel like you're caught in between. Should you stand, should you sit here? Right. You have both choices to do and do whatever you feel what's uh, necessary you, for the I, situation. I'm gonna go on the record. I bet that's a trend we see in, mm -hmm. in the coming years. Yeah. It's really just, just makes too much sense. Mm -hmm. you know, another thing that's kind of crazy here is, again, with these kind of these Explorer boats, we're seeing more and more companies come out with X lines and variations like that, but you, Feeling at this helm, we feel like it feels like an expedition yacht to me. It yeah, I love. Like a ship. I love the reverse rake of the windshield. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives it a really aggressive look, but as you can see from the interior, it just feels so warm and inviting. It's, right. it's got a juxtaposition that really works for this boat. Well said. There's no shortage of social spaces on this boat. Yeah, indeed. Um, this could be a great sunny area with these massive sun pads here, but throw this up, attached to the carbon fiber poles, you got a shade area for the middle of the day or for any time well, you even, want. Even a hot morning like this, it really, it's, it's nice to get a little relief from the sun where you're still getting that breeze. Yeah. 
Uh, okay. Overall, well executed throughout. Um, you were saying something about this boat coming to the States in about a year and a half? Yeah, unfortunately, I think we have to be a little more patient to see it stateside. I'm told not this Lauderdale, but the Lauderdale following. Uh, it can't be soon enough. Uh, That's true, but I really, I would recommend that, you know, readers get a chance to check out the blue game, check out the 42 and 62, learn a little more about what this brand's about. And they say patience is a virtue, but I, I'm getting antsy, Jeff. Where, where are we heading? This next well, edition, yeah. we're in Cannes. Uh, I believe if we just head out of here, we can get the Sardinia in no time. I'm gonna take the helm if you don't so, mind. You always get the helm. Why do you always have to do it? Yeah, so it goes.